This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eat World again, and I've just got back from the official EA Japan live stream for Battlefield 5, which I hosted with another game changer, Kayanator. And if you didn't catch that stream, well, basically it ran for four hours or something like that, and it was a mix of gameplay as well as Q&A and a bunch of other stuff. Now, one of the segments that we did was a pretty deep dive discussion on how the new customization and upgrade systems are currently working in the BF5 beta. And so that's what I've got for you guys today. The full stream is available on my channel if you want to check that out. But if not, well, here's just that segment in its full unedited glory. Okay, we're back and we're going to do some customization now. And uh, actually, you know what, the funny thing is, is that I've played this game quite a lot this year. I've, uh, I played it at EA Play, I played it at uh, Gamescom, I played the Alphas, and you know, you know, lots of different different things about this game. But you know what, the funny thing is, is I haven't done any customization because, you know, we, we've, we've played a little bit of the beta, uh, but you know, we've been here the whole time, and on purpose I have not done any customization, so I can experience it with you guys right now. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna try and talk to you a little bit about what you can do in terms of customization in this game. And as, you, as you'll see, we're going to experience it together. So do you want to just hit up the company first yeah. off then? Like All what right. we saw in the trailer? So let's have a look. We're going to talk about the company. Uh, and if you guys don't already know, basically the company is almost like, uh, sort of like a new UI visual way of uh, checking out your soldiers that you've created, soldiers that you've leveled up in Battlefield Five. Uh, and basically, I mean, the easiest way to explain this, the way that I've been trying to explain it to everybody, is it's pretty similar to what we've always had in Battlefield. But the difference is, is that you can actually visu visually see representations of what your customization looks like. Uh, and we'll see, we'll see a little bit more of that later. But it's not just on this screen here, on the actual company screen. It's actually also on the main menu as well. Yeah. Uh, and Westy had a really good point the other day that, you know, at the moment, all of our company all looks the same. But can you imagine what this is going to look like on everybody's screen, you know, a couple of months? A couple of months from now, yeah. The game. Every, like, what you're seeing right now on screen is what everybody's basically seeing. But, you know, give it a few months after the launch of the game, and this will be personalized to whatever you want to set your company up to look like. So anyway, let's get into the company. Um, and as you can see, we've got all of our classes here. We've got all of our vehicles. We've got some planes there as well, and just incidentally, these planes are clearly on autopilot because there's no pilots. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that's interesting. And and and, and we, we discovered this before. There's something there's something going wrong. There's something with, very wrong with this tank underneath the Valentine. <laughs> 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 but uh, but anyway, let's get into it. So uh, we're going to take a look at uh, my STG. I'm going to customize that right now. Uh, so if you have a look, uh, I've got my STG here as my primary weapon on my assault class. Uh, and when I go into the STG page, I can see a little bit about the stats of the gun, you know, all of, all of the good stuff. Uh, but we've got two options down here for upgrades and customization. Uh, and they're a little bit different. So upgrades are kind of what we have known from previous games as attachments. Uh, and one of the sort of things that people have been wondering about in, in Battlefield 5 is how, how are attachments going to work? Are attachments going to be something that affects how your gun performs? Well, the answer is yes and no, kind of. But it's all done through this skill tree system. And the interesting thing about the skill tree system is specializations are actually something we've seen in previous games. Yeah, Bad Company 2. Bad Company 2 and uh, 2142. Yeah, yeah. So rather than attaching attachments to your guns in those games, and, and let's, let's, like, let's remember, those games are like some of the best games in the franchise. Yeah. Uh, so rather than attaching attachments to your guns, what you'd actually do is pick a specialization, and that specialization... Will suit your player style. But it would also visually change your gun. It yeah. would add the attachments. But yeah. it didn't always change your gun, and that's no. kind of what's happening with attachments in this. So let's have a look. So as you can see, we've got a skill tree, uh, and if we go down the skill tree, there's all different options we can use that will uh, change our weapon performance. And like I said, I haven't done this yet, so we're going to do it together. So we're going to discuss what we think is the best way to customize this gun. So first things first, we, we've got the quick aim equipped. So we've got it, we have to buy that one first. So let's confirm that one. And you can see there's like an in-game in currency up the top right hand corner that tells us how many, how much we have. So let's confirm this. There we go. Purchase failed. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Maybe you already have it purchased. Well, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Scopes. It seems to be. It seems to be. I don't know. <laughs> that is really weird. Okay, maybe let's try and. I'm not sure what that, why that's not working, but let's just oh. pretend pretend it is working. Okay, so if we were to purchase Quick Quick Aim, right, that's going to cost us 300 of the in-game in-game currency, uh, and then that's going to let us unlock fast bullets, which I guess is kind of like a, a, some sort of upgrade to you know increase your you know, muzzle velocity. Bullet velocity, yeah. It's going to make the bullet travel time shorter, which is cool. And then as you can see, it splits out. Now, if we were to purchase some of these things, uh, I, I have seen it briefly. You can kind of see it really, really faintly on screen now. But the tree branches out. Once we purchase fast bullets, we're going to get the option to get more accurate hip fire or improved stationary accuracy. Yep. Right? So, so basically, we have to make a, a choice. We have to make a choice whether we want, uh, you know, a better hip fire. close quarters STG or whether we want to, you know, sit back and take pot shots. Yep. Now, for me, I would probably want, for an assault rifle, I would probably want to have more hip fire accuracy. But that depends it's on... All, it's all personal play style. That's right, yeah. So. so, now, the problem is, if I click this My Accurate Hip Fire option, when I go down a quick deploy, uh, I can unlock that one, but I've actually locked myself out of less horizontal recoil. So right. maybe, maybe I might want to pick to improve stationary accuracy because I need to pick this later on. Right. So, so your choices up here, maybe you may have to trade off something that you really like in a higher tier yeah. to get something you really want later on. Okay. So let's let's just go with the whole idea that I'm going to pick more accurate hip fire. So then I have to pick quick deploy. Yep. And then when we go down here. So as you can see, we've got less vertical recoil in the middle, and you can sort of see it's really, really hard to see. And I'm, I know I'm pointing to the screen, and you guys yeah. can't see that. But what we'll do is we'll drag my one on the screen later on yeah. with my sniper rifle, so yeah. you can see it. That's so. good. So yeah, so so if I was to pick the, the the fourth tier down for either side, I could pick that center one, or if I could pick one of the side ones. So if I was to pick quick deploy, I could pick between faster move while aiming, or I could pick less vertical recoil. But I couldn't pick improved moving accuracy. So the thing is, is I would probably want improved moving accuracy. So now that I know that, I'm probably going to want to go all the way down this right-hand side. Of course. But that's going to depend on your play style. So once you spec out this uh, gun, basically, I, as far as I know, once you get to the end of the tree, you'll be able to respec it however you want. But uh, I think from memory, it locks it out until you've completed the skill tree. I do believe so, yeah. So, so can we just cut back, if we can, to uh, Chris's screen, if that's all right? Can we cut back to this one? Can we cut back to the... Yeah, sorry. We're just going to show you a, a, a semi specced out weapon here. All right, so as you can see on Chris's screen, he's sort of worked his way down the, the tree. Uh, and maybe if you've got enough... Have you got enough points to buy another one? I unfortunately don't because I did not get any kills. Not anymore. quite. So, yeah, so as you can see, he's already started his path and he's locked himself in to the next couple of tiers of uh, customization. So this is something I want everyone to see. The bayonet charge is here. So I'm pretty sure we know what I would pick. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, cool. So that's 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 basically in a nutshell how uh, the upgrade system works. Uh, so if you if you're wondering if attachments are going to be back into the game, yes, they are. Oh, actually, Chris, can you show them? If you have a look, uh, just go back into upgrades for a tick. No worries. So if you have a look, see how there's actually a just go down one more tier and to the oh you can't go to the to the right. But if you have a look to the right, you guys can actually see there's a bipod um, bipod specialization. So that's going to equip a bipod onto your weapon. So yes, attachments are back in Battlefield 5, and yes, they actually do something, uh, but it's all worked into this specialization tree. So in a nutshell, it's similar, but not quite the same as how it worked in uh, Battlefield 4. So, all right, so let's, let's uh, can we go back to my screen, if that's all right? And uh, all right, so we're gonna have a look at customizations. Now, customization is different again. Customization, uh, as far as we know, the way it currently is, is that there's actually no appreciable uh, change to gameplay performance. So if you, apart from the, the scopes. Apart from the scopes, yes. So if you select a different scope, obviously that's going to, you know, make an impact on how the weapon performs. Um, and maybe we might equip some scopes in, in a little bit to just show you the difference between the two. But, um, but basically, all of the other attachments, or should I say visual customizations, visual customizations yep. <laughs> they actually don't do anything. So they're just visual. So all of the things that you can see on screen now, they don't have a gameplay impact, uh, and they're just more or less just to spec out your gun how you want it to be. So yeah, interesting. Now I might even see if I can 
See, I can't even buy that sort of stuff. Maybe it's just my game's bugged out or something. It's just not, not letting me buy some of these things. But, uh, but yeah, you can sort of see them as they, as they come up on screen. Uh, and there's different attachments, different kind of looks in each category. So this one's really cool. I'll just go back to this one. I really like the Woodlands <laughs> ones. So you can more or less like ghillie suit up your uh, STG, which kind of doesn't make sense. But. but yeah, anyway, basically, just to skim through quickly that for the rest of this weapon, more or less, there's options in every single thing. So you can, you can make it, you know, you can make it match, yep. or you can change it around. You can have a bright blue stock. You can look like, you can look like Willy Wonka or something, I don't know. But that being said, <laughs> as, as far as we can see right now, and as far as we know, there's not going to be any ridiculous like pink camos and that sort of stuff. But, you know, don't, don't quote us on that. There's none in the build right now, but you never know. So, uh, oh yeah, and uh, folding stock, one of my favorite things. Does uh, nothing. Once again, it does nothing. In previous games, folding stocks have done something. At least for now, at least for now. Yeah. So anyway, let's take a quick look at vehicle customization. And as you'll see, uh, you can, there's specializations and that sort of stuff for vehicles as well. So same sort of deal. Um, all different things you can do and you, you can see the skill tree looks a little bit different uh, and by the way we should make the point as well that it's going to change from vehicle to vehicle you're not always going to have the same specializations in the same order so for example i think i saw a 16 pound around uh, sorry six pound around yep and now it's ap round yep. so it's a, it's a it's a different specialization so it's not like you pick the same specializations for everything um, which is really cool. It means that there's a difference between the guns. Yeah, and yeah. not to mention the customizations are actually different for each faction as well. So yeah, and that that applies to the uh, uh, the planes and that sort of stuff as well. That plane has no landing gear down. No landing gear. <laughs> yeah, that looks that looks really legit right now. There's no pilot either. Uh, but and also apparently there's going to be visual customizations coming for the vehicles and stuff as well. But that's not in the build yet. Uh, that will be coming later. So. So you, know, you can imagine that the, the vehicle customization is going to look very similar to the weapon customization in terms of specializations and customization. Yeah. Uh, what, so just to kind of feed off a point that Chris just made before, I'm just going to hit one of my, uh, my, my shoulder buttons here and you'll see I'll go over to the Axis faction. Yep. So that's quite interesting because see I've got Axis selected now. If I back out to the main screen, now I've got some Germans coming go. up on my main screen. Yep. Uh, and let me just quickly show you how this works. So I'll go back over to Germans again. And just I just want you guys to take a quick note. See, if you have a look in the middle of the center soldier there, can you see the optic on his rifle? Yep. So I'm just going to go over to customization again. I'm going to take that opti optic off. Maybe we'll change it to something more obvious, right? The medium yep. scope? Yep. And there it is. So you can see it. There you go. Yep. You see, you can actually see it in your further, company. Further stating the fact that this is basically the UI representation of your loadout, so... Exactly, yeah. Some nice eye candy for you to look at. But yeah, and you can imagine later on down the track, as different factions get added as well, there's going to be a different tab for them. So, yeah, it should be pretty interesting, and there should be, you know, endless ways to customize your characters in, in Battlefield 5, which is really good, because, you know, if you've played Battlefield 1, you know, customization was, you know, toned down a little bit from Battlefield 4, yep. and, and it's definitely something people have been asking for. Yeah. Uh, but what uh, I would like you guys to do, if you can, let us know in the chat what you guys think of the way customization actually is, uh, and maybe, you know, give us some feedback. You know, what, what would you tell DICE if you had to give them your opinion on customization as it currently is. Um, yeah, Chris, what do, you, what do you think? What's your, I what's think, your opinion? I feel like the only thing they're missing now is the armor customization as well. Like, I remember, if we remember back to like Bad Company 2, you had the, uh, the light, heavy, or medium, I believe yeah. it was. Yeah. So that affected how much you took or yeah. how fast you ran. Yep. So I feel like if everybody actually, you know, the people that were a bit skeptical about how the customization works, um, once they take a few minutes just to really think about it, they're getting what they wanted in an old game, in a new game. It's just not completely obvious right now. Yeah. So. Can, can I also bring up one more point, uh, which is really, really important, because we've been telling you all about customization. We've been telling you about, um, you know, how you can customize your guns, how you can change all of that sort of stuff. Uh, we've been playing with some of the different weapons in these classes. Uh, what we haven't told you that yet that you may not realize is that, you know, there's not four classes in Battlefield. No, there isn't, no. There's, there's actually a thing called archetypes. So that's like a whole nother level. So when you click on, if you can see here, I've, I've got combat role selected. When I click on that, 
I can see there's no there's only one goal. Something something is happening happening to our left. But yeah, so there's only one role at the moment. Uh, but these, you can imagine later on down the track, there's going to be multiple archetypes that yeah. you can select. And each one's going to have a different weapon set, a different move set, different perks. Yeah. So as you can see, the, you, as you mentioned, the trait down there, correct? Yeah. So you regenerate your health. Someone else could, maybe there's one that would remove scope lint. I don't yeah. know. Speculation, who knows? Yeah. But. So here's, and here's kind of like an extrapolation that you can kind of read into. Uh, is that, you know, the skill trees for everything else. Maybe there's also going to be skill trees for archetypes as well. Uh, so things like, you know, that we've known from previous games, you know, specializations, like you said, yeah. flak jackets and that sort of stuff. Yeah. That's, you know, that could be in it there as well. It could be in there. It could be. You never that's know. That's right. So, so yeah. So, uh, do we have any final thoughts? I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing already. Yeah. Because it's, it's just, it's, it's breaking up the classes. They've made it obviously that one class doesn't get everything, which is something they're breaking away from. Yeah. Which is final. There's everyone has a set role. It doesn't feel oversaturated. Everyone's just separate. Everyone's everyone's different in their own way. Everyone's special. That's right. Yeah. Everyone's special. But not just that. Like it seems like everything in game has like a you know a, a purpose. A, you know something yeah. something unique that it can do. Yeah. So you're not gonna find that weapons feel cookie cutter like maybe they have in you know some previous games. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, like Battlefield 4 especially had a lot of guns that felt very similar. Yeah. So I think the specialization trees are a really easy way for dice to differentiate between weapons. Say for example, I mean I can tell you, let's let's just compare this right now. Yep. So I, I don't know if I can unlock them, but let's have a look at the the Sten, right? And then if we have a look at some more weapons, down here we've got the MP40, and oh, we can't get into it, we don't have it unlocked. Right. Uh, but it'd be interesting to see because the Sten, and if you look at the stats, when I have the Sten selected, the MP40 really is pretty close. Yeah. Exactly the same rate of fire, exactly the same bullets in the mag, uh, it's a little bit less easy to control, but it's got a little bit more accuracy. Yes, it does. But one thing they could really differentiate that is with the specialization. Yeah. If they so give, we can't actually see the specializations just that Yeah, because we can't we can't unlock that just yet. But it would be on it. Oh, here we go. Oh. No, so we can we can we can't we can't see all the things because of, because we don't have it unlocked. But yeah, it would be interesting to see what they actually do with that. So you know, something something to think about. But anyway, guys, that just about wraps up this video. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also, don't forget, you can find the full live, unedited live stream on this channel as well, if you're interested in that. And of course, until next time, see you later and have a good one.